Keshe, buenos dias, and hi, everyone. My name is Amy Lloyd, and I'm honored to serve as the Assistant Secretary of the Office of Career, Technical, and Adult Education, also known as OCTE, here at the U.S. Department of Education. In this role, I have the honor of working with a fantastic team in OCTE and leading in four key policy areas that are vital to our communities, our workforce, and our economy, namely, one, correctional education, two, community colleges, three, adult education and family literacy, and four, career and technical education, which includes transforming secondary and post-secondary through high quality career and college pathways. I know that all of you also are dedicated to this important work, and I love the Forum for Excellence's theme this year, Better Together. We are indeed better together. In all of our work here in Octay, we're centered on equity, excellence, and the intersection of education, workforce development, and economic development, all of which are better together. I wish I could be with you there today in person to learn from you all, to feel the synergy in the room as you explore connections between career, technical, and adult education, also things that are better together. And we all know that partnership is extremely critical to the success of our work, and your commitment to collaboration is evident and on display today as you look around the room at all who are gathered here. And this forum is sponsored by the Illinois Community College Board and hosted by the Illinois Center for Specialized Professional Support and the Southern Illinois Professional Development Center. That's the power of partnership of being better together too. Thank you for leading this event and thank you for inviting me to talk with you. I'm here today on behalf of Secretary Cardona and the Biden-Harris administration to express our deep appreciation for the work that you lead on behalf of our students, their families, and our communities. We know how hard you're working and have been working throughout the pandemic to support every learner to achieve their goals and dreams, to get to where they want to be in their careers and in their communities so that education lives up to its promise of providing lifelong economic and social mobility to all. As you all likely know, Octay's two largest areas of work are career and technical education through Perkins and adult education and family literacy through Title II of WIOA. And rightfully so, because we know that career, technical, and adult education is life-changing, community-transforming, economy-powering work. I often think and talk about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s notion of the fierce urgency of now. And we are in the midst of it right now. We have tremendous urgency in this moment, in this fierce urgency of now, to do right by our students and learners of all ages by boldly reimagining and positioning our work in career, technical, and adult education to lead our country's workforce into the future. I can't say enough how important what you do now through intentional and imaginative collaboration and through being better together, through taking this moment to consider what the present and the future workforce of the great state of Illinois needs, what you do now will lay the foundation for the historic once in a generation opportunities we have before us. Through investing in America, President Biden has delivered game-changing jobs bills, the bipartisan infrastructure law, the Chips and Science Act, the Inflation Reduction Act, Secretary Cardona often refers to a tsunami of new jobs rising from this moment, and not just any jobs, well-paying, family-sustaining, career-advancing, community-building jobs, careers that will drive our competitiveness for years to come. And it's on every single one of us to make sure that our students are prepared to ride the wave of these jobs successfully. That's why we're focused on unlocking career success for all and ensuring that we create dynamic systems of multiple career and college pathways with no wrong entry points and no dead ends to support our learners over their lifetimes. In Octay, our work spans the educational spectrum from P-12 to post-secondary education and into the world of work. We know that economic development and workforce development start in our P-12 education system, yet education for too long has been a bystander to economic development. We've treated the artificial walls that divide P-12, post-secondary, and workforce systems like they're set in stone. We've maintained a system that allows hundreds of thousands of high school students to graduate every year with no clear on-ramps to rewarding careers. And we know that our education system also does not serve far too many people well, and they leave high school before they graduate. I think about the tens of millions of adults in our country without a high school diploma or equivalency who are so brilliant and so resilient and just need that extra boost of skill building to supercharge their futures and fulfill their endless potential. We've maintained a four-year college or bust mentality that leaves too many students behind and that does not honor and elevate the powerful role that our community colleges play in creating rewarding career pathways for people. Not to mention that half of people with four-year degrees, myself included, have community colleges in our backgrounds. CTE and community colleges need to be seen and known as the first-in-class leading-edge options that they are in so many fields today. 
We've also grown complacent with the underrepresentation of students of color and women in STEM, and with our employers missing out on the competitive advantage that diversity brings to the workforce, as shown by extensive research and evidence. It's time to raise the bar. That starts with a total reimagining of career-connected education for all students in this country. And I'm thrilled to see how leadership in Illinois is seeking to raise the bar by preparing our students for tomorrow's economy. Earlier this year, Secretary Cardona laid out his vision for our nation to raise the bar and lead the world, which has three core priorities for our education system. One is achieve academic excellence, two is boldly improve learning conditions, and three is create pathways for global engagement. In academic excellence, we have two goals, accelerating learning for every student, especially in the wake of the pandemic, and ensuring that we deliver a comprehensive and rigorous education for every student. In improving learning conditions, our two goals are, one, eliminating the educator shortage for ed every school, including diversifying and strengthening our educator workforce, and in areas such as CTE, STEM, special education, adult education, and other fields that we have tremendous need for talented educators. And the other goal in this priority area is investing in every student's mental health and well-being. We know we can have the best content, the best educators in the world, but we have to think of our students holistically and support them and their families so that they're able to show up and be their best selves, engaged in powerful and joyful learning. The third core priority area, creating pathways for global engagement, is where our work really shines and resonates with all of you here today. One goal is focused on providing every student with a pathway to multilingualism, recognizing that we trail behind most countries in the world on this front. And if we're going to have our young people compete in a global economy, multilingualism and multiculturalism are must haves. And we need to celebrate our English learners for the language and the culture strengths they bring. The other goal in this priority area is in my office, ensuring every student has a pathway to college and career with high quality career and technical education as the foundation for this work. We envision four keys to unlocking career success for our students. While these keys are framed through the lens of what we want every single high school student to have before graduating from high school, they're just as relevant to our adult learners. So number one, personalized, ongoing, labor market-informed career advising and navigation supports with advisors who know pathways inside and out. I have a friend in Illinois who always used to tell me, Amy, college is a really expensive career exploration program. And he's right. Our students need to start considering careers in the P-12 space, and I'm excited about things like Octay's recent Future Finders Challenge for career navigation supports for adult learners, too. Number two, real-world, hands-on, workplace-based, work-based learning, ideally paid work-based learning. Secretary Cardona is challenging our high schools to reimagine anytime, anywhere learning and creating flexibilities for students so that they could spend a day or two a week in paid internships or apprenticeships in their communities, building skills and professional relationships. We know our young people are ready for this, are we? And in integrated education and training, our adult learners also need similar real world, hands-on, career-connected work-based learning. I think about Octay's recent challenge in reimagining adult education through pre-apprenticeship and apprenticeship, and I know that great work is happening in this space. So this leads me to number three, students earning workforce credentials that employers seek, which are stackable, portable, and allow students to confidently broker their skills in the labor market. While the world of work is rapidly shifting, having a short-term credential allows students to launch a career. And the majority of great jobs in the investing in America growing industry sectors, such as in semiconductors, clean energy, EV, advanced manufacturing, infrastructure, and more, they're in the sub-baccalaureate space. And these workforce credentials are a great door opener to futures in these fields. Finally, key number four, every student earns at least 12 transferable college credits through dual enrollment, ideally students' first English and math classes so that they don't face dev ed and post-secondary, and a couple of CTE or other career-connected classes. And in the case of adult education, we love more ability to benefit engagement and stronger on-ramps into post-secondary. And I have to say, our community colleges are great partners in all four of these keys to unlock career success. From designing co-advising on careers, to engaging business and industry, to ensuring workforce credentials are part of broader programs of study and responsive to demand, to strengthening dual credit and ATB programs. And we know that all four of these keys lead to stronger and more equitable career outcomes for all. The department currently has a new $25 million grant competition to support career-connected learning in our high schools, designed to advance these four keys through an ecosystem approach of partnership with community colleges and employers, knowing that not only are we better together, we must do this work in partnership.
You could use these funds to expand dual enrollment, invest in new industry equipment, pay for students' credentials exams, and so on. It's all about accelerating the evolution of our schools. It's all about unlocking career success for our students. Our students are counting on us to raise the bar. To all the people in the room today who are leading and who are on the front lines making high quality CTE and adult education catalysts for transforming lives, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your dedication, determination, patience, and perseverance are what moves the needle. To any students in attendance today, embrace the power of your learning. Keep striving to learn more and never let your light be dimmed. We need you to keep shining and to lead the way forward. So my ask of all of you is to consider how Illinois is going to reimagine Perkins and Weoa to serve our students and build our future. How Illinois is going to leverage this fierce urgency of now and the once in a generation investments in our nation's infrastructure to pair vision and hope with concrete actions and meaningful resources. How Illinois is going to prepare all students to take on the challenges of their time. We at the department and in the administration, we're here for you. We're all cheering you on. Please let us know how we can support you to do your bold, innovative work to blur the lines between high school, college, and career, to integrate education and workforce development so that we can all be better together. Thank you, Elakwa, and gracias. Have a great event.